Hey everyone, Zankus here, and with Masters 25 spoiler season just around the corner, I'm going to go into my top 10 picks of what I think will be in the set. Uh, we're going to go through three commons, three uncommons, three rares, and a mythic. And uh, these are just my guesses, uh, what should be in the, the set, what I would like to see in the set, and uh, we'll see if I'm right. So we'll start off with the uh, commons. Uh, first up, we got Curion Ranger. Uh, I believe this was only printed in Visions. It's uh, widely used in uh, Pauper for the Elves deck or uh, Mono Green Stompy. And uh, with only one printing, I think it's time that we see another one. Since they did say uh, we're going to have at least one card from each set over the 25 years, so this is a good uh, pick for first common. It's a uh, it's a green elf. Costs one. Uh, it's a 1-1, one, one, but it's uh, return a forest you control to owner's hand. Untap target creature. Use this ability only once each turn. It's uh, pretty good in constructed. I don't know about limited, but uh, could see its uses. So that's my first pick. Second would be Lava Spike. Uh, it's great removal. Uh, I'm sorry, not great removal. It's a great burn spell. It's three damage to target player. It's not as good as uh, Lightning Bolt because you have the, the option of a creature or player with Lightning Bolt, but it is uh, great in uh, any burn deck, any red deck. Uh, it was printed twice, once in uh, Kamigawa block and once in the original Modern Masters. So I believe that this deserves a reprint. And the third un, uh, third common, uh, I believe it m might be a little asking a little bit too much. It was printed way back in Arabian Nights and has never seen a reprint. Uh, so maybe it's time that we get the reprint. This is, I think, $20, $25 uh, common used in uh, mono black popper decks. So we got the uh, converted uh, casting cost of three, one colorless, two black, and it is a removal that basically what it does is puts it in a in jail. That's what ablet stands for. It's a, it's jail. So you, you put the creature, uh, basically exile it, and it, when it leaves play, the creature comes back tapped. So that's my three uh, common predictions. Let's go on to uncommon. We'll start with Spell Snare. Spell Snare was printed in Dissension and believe one of the Modern Masters sets. I'm not, I uh, don't remember, but it's a uh, it's a good counter spell. Um, it's real. It's a, it's a little limited to what it could uh, counter, but it does cost one, and it's a good turn to counter because it uh, only counters spells with converted mana cost of two. So it's not terribly strong. So it's not broken, but it is. I think it deserves the reprint. Uh, next would be Manamorphose. It's pretty good in uh, limited because it's uh, it's mana fixing. Mana fixing in limited is always good. Uh, you pay one color is red or of uh, green, and you're getting two mana of any color combination, and you draw a card. So that's pretty pretty decent card right there. And our third uncommon is Goblin Lore. It was printed in 10th uh, edition. I believe that was the last time it was printed. It's for two. You're going to draw four cards, then discard three at random. Uh, it's decent in, in uh, limited. If you don't have anything really great in your hand, you want to you know, cycle through some cards and stuff like that. 
So I believe that those are the three, my three uncommons that I believe that will be in the set. Um, now let's move on to the good stuff, uh, rares. We got, first off, the Marodin block lands. Uh, I chose Black Cleave Cliffs. Uh, I think right now sitting at $45. Uh, hasn't been printed for, uh, since then, only once. And uh, I believe, from what I've seen with the master sets, there's always pretty strong um, lands like the fetches in M17 or the um, like Horizon Canopy in Iconic and uh, stuff like that. So we'll go there. And another great land f all the way back from World Wake would be the Man Lands or the uh, lands that turn into creatures. These are really strong, especially Celestial Colonnade. Uh, it's widely used in a lot of the Jeskai decks or uh, anything with the blue white controlish. Um, it's it's strong. It's a it's a four. It becomes a four four white and blue elemental with flying and vigilance. So you can't beat that. And hasn't seen a reprint in a long time. The last rare that I'm going to predict is Scape Shift. Uh, it's, it's sitting at, I think, $50, $55 right now, and it's only ever been printed in Morning Tide. So I think that it might get a reprint in this set. Um, what it does is you sacrifice any number of lands and search your library for that many land cards, put them to play tapped, then shuffle your library. Um, it's it's good for the, the, the land... I think it's a Titan Shift deck. It just I, I I think this card is is overpriced and it needs a reprint. For the Mythic, um, originally it was a rare, but I think it's going to be uh, upgraded to Mythic status. Um, and I'm talking about Rashadin Port. Uh, back in Mask, there wasn't any. Mythics, so the rare was the uh, rarest. It's a great, it's sitting at like, I think 85 to $90 right now. Um, I remember playing this card back when I played in uh, Mass Block. Uh, it was like, you had to have four ports in your land destruction deck or your control decks or anything like that. And it's just... It's nostalgia for me, so I, I'm hoping that it does get the reprint. Hasn't been reprinted. I think it did have a reprint as a judge promo, but that's about it. Not any mass reprinting. Uh, so that is my prediction for Masters 25. Um, I guess we'll find out soon. I uh, think the uh, spoiler season starts the 26th of this month. So we're a few days away, about a week away from that. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If, uh, if you think I'm right, if you think I'm wrong, if you think I missed anything more important. So just uh, leave that down in the comments. And remember to like and subscribe.